All right, today I woke up not in my bed. Uh, I got up around seven so I could respectfully leave as soon as possible. There's my apple that I didn't finish last night. My Uber driver was talking about how he just heard on the radio that Jalen Walker was shot 60 times by the police in Akron, Ohio. Pay attention to the news and all cops are bastards. Then I got home and unfortunately had a pretty bad migraine so I had to take my medication and lie down with a nice pack in my tiger balm. About an hour and a half later, I wake up feeling like a whole new person ready to actually start my day for real. So I make a super fancy espresso and start drawing on my iPad. This looks really conceited, but I'm working on a promotional poster for my upcoming comedy shows. To be fair, I also draw cartoons, animations, and greeting cards. My platform of choice is Procreate. For my workouts, I like to put on a timer and see how much I can make myself sweat in 30 minutes. I was afraid this footage may be too provocative to be in the video, but then I watched it sped up and I was like, no, they need to see this. Oh yeah. Mountain climbers into push-ups is pretty hardcore. That's, uh, I'm proud of that. There I am being saucy. And then you gotta stretch. This is the best time to stretch because your muscles are all warmed up. Now I definitely need a shower, but surprise, I'm in a rush. So I just make myself semi-presentable. I'm blessed with natural beauty, so this isn't hard. I am currently on my way to have lunch with my friend Jane. So I'm waiting for Jane and I can see a storm's coming, which is probably why I got my migraine. I had a few minutes to kill, so I put on my gray sweatshirt and pretended to be Princess Diana. I met Jane in a diner in Lakeview. She's a Chicago native and had a long career in urban planning. I'd like to film and direct a walking tour slash interview with her where we cover the history and development of different Chicago neighborhoods. Today we met to discuss interview questions and I'd like to start filming in two to three weeks. After walking Jane home, it started to rain so I knew I had to book it. Putting my phone in my pocket, I accidentally caught this kind of beautiful footage and here it is. Cut to me trying to get my bike in the building while also recording. Of course, I dropped my keys. Eventually, we made it into the building. Big shout out to doors. Here I am turning my brain off. I like to do this a few times a day, anywhere between a few minutes and a few hours. Now I'm showering and you don't need to see any of this. Welcome to my office. Here is where I keep track of my current and future projects. And once they're completed, I move them over there. It could seem like I haven't done enough, but I'm working on these ones. This one I'm also working on. This one, this is what we're watching now. This one, this one, and whoop, look at the time. As a weed enthusiast, I think it's super fucked up that despite being legalized recreationally in 15 states, 40,000 individuals are still incarcerated for possession. If you go to this Ben and Jerry's page, they have a pre-drafted email you can send to your state sender. It's super easy and I recommend checking it out. I'm on a storytelling show tonight, so I put my phone in this box to help me focus on writing my set. I worked on my story for about an hour and jotted down some notes. Now I'm gonna run through it once using this can of avocado oil as a pretend microphone. Then I take a few minutes to roll out my muscles and meditate. All right, here's the worst makeup tutorial in the world. Uh, I've actually taken my contacts out, so I can't really see what I look like and what I'm doing until I put my glasses back on. I'm happy with the results, but not surprised because this is not my first rodeo. I slam back some cold brew and for a snack, I pack this protein bar, which is basically a brick of peanut butter and I like it. I'm also packing my filming equipment, my keys, this tangle of cords, chapstick, pepper spray, a toothbrush, cause you never know where you may sleep. Obviously my journal and story notes, a sweater because the theaters can get chilly. And of course, course, my business cards. I let my phone out of jail and call a lift. I'm embarrassed I'm not taking the bus, but I'm already running behind and don't want to be late. I have a few minutes, so I speed read this article on storytelling that my brother sent me and do a final fit check. This necklace was a gift my grandmother got when she graduated from high school. And my wet hair stays in this bun until we get in the car. Just wait, it's gonna work, you'll see. I kiss my Marilyn's goodbye and rush out the door. I'm sure a lot of you are like, okay, Chloe, you sleep in, order lifts, eat fancy protein bars, and bitch, we saw that exposed brick. Where are you getting the money for this bougie lifestyle? I actually get asked that on dates a lot. For the last four years, I was a BDR at different tech companies. I saved up a certain amount of money and quit a few months ago. It's an entry-level sales role I highly recommend. You don't need previous experience, lots of places are hiring remote, and it's a good intro into the tech world. Now we're at the Lincoln Lodge. Don't be fooled by the creepy hallway and clown-themed bathroom. This venue has three different theaters they run shows in simultaneously, so it's a great spot to check out live comedy literally any night of the week. Tonight I'm on Campfire Stories, hosted by these guys Mo and Gabe. Here I am, 30 seconds into my set. You can tell it went well, and I had a lot of fun with the audience. <laughs> <laughs> and this story, the story actually takes place uh, when I moved to, to San Francisco. <laughs> After I told my story, I stepped out to focus on my set list for my next show, which is at Comedy Clubhouse down the street. I literally inhaled my peanut butter brick and got going. My friend Ryan Funk, AKA Young Wrigley, decided to tag along, which made the walk a lot more entertaining. At this show, I'm first on the lineup. The host, Aaron, did a great job warming up the room, so I was really excited to go on. Here's a snippet of the crowd work I used to open my set. Then I decided to take a risk and closed with a brand new bit. You guys are the first audience to see it, where I roast all of my exes. So if you guys are cool with it, you're in. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> there 
there's obviously a lot more to this joke, but the prop comedy killed, and I'm definitely going to use it again soon. <laughs> Now Ryan and I are walking back to the Lincoln Lodge to hopefully network a bit and close out the night. Ron is the GOAT! Maybe he'll see this video. I hope he does. <laughs> so Ron, if you're watching this, <laughs> I'm your long lost son. I told Ryan women like gentlemanly gestures, like when you walk between them and the traffic while crossing the street. He took this a step further and started trying to fight the cars. Ladies, he is single, gentlemanly, and will make you laugh. We got a gate for that then we found these pants. Boil that <laughs> denim, they're back to normal. We had a drink at the lodge, but there wasn't much action happening, so I got a lift all by myself and headed home for the night. I've learned that pursuing art full-time is very stressful, but also an absolute privilege. I will work as hard as it takes to continue to create things and share stories I care about with the world. Like I mentioned earlier, nothing risked, nothing gained. I keep this quote on my door to remind me that challenge comes with discomfort, and I'm really running my own race. If anyone's thinking, Chloe, you do so much, but barely eat, it's because every night I carbo load for the next day. Here I am with my hand literally stuck in a box of butter. Eating this bread was the most calm part of my day. Here are some more shots of the bread. They say a watch pot never boils, and boy howdy is that true. Tonight I'm making egg noodles. Fancy pasta only costs a couple dollars more, and I feel like it really elevates my lifestyle. Check back in two months when I'm broke. Now I'm eating dinner, watching Queer Eye, and uploading the clips from today. Woo, what a day. I wish I was the kind of person that read their book before going to sleep, but I'm not, and that's okay. We're all just out here doing our best. Let's see what happens tomorrow. Good night.